Yes, welcome. So this is the second part, and uh, this is uh, where we at now. Rendering the water. So as you can see, this is the surface, and this is the white water interacting. Okay. So uh, in the last uh, video we talk about the RBD simulation. So. We are done with it. Let me cancel this one. And now, what we did here, we uh, will prepare for the flip fluid. This is the. Uh, where is that one? This one. So, we started with uh, creating the. Uh, surface to initiate uh, initially we will bring the bowl here and we'll bring the surface that we talked about the body geometry we add a beak and I transform it a little bit down and extrude it and we did a boolean so this is the body of the water this is where the water will be exactly and this is where it will collide as, as a VDB down here we created a point from volume so this is the Particles and here we made the VDB because flip fluid they need particle and they need volume. Reshape and combine flip source. So we have VDB, we have particles and we have VDB. Both can be, should be available so we can use it in the flip solver. Okay. So this is how we initiate it. And then we will go to the simulation part. What is that? this one? The simulation part is straightforward. We need a flip object that will point to the particle and will point to the surface that we created. On the other hand here, we have uh, the colliding geometry and we have the flip solver. The particle separation I make it 0 0.12 because the lower you go the higher resolution you'll have and the more time and it now it's like more than one week and I'm still rendering and simulating for a couple of frames so let me just make it one for now so you can see how it look so this is as you can see if I go another frame, we have the water, we have the collision bars, and I made the let me stop this one. I made the uh, boundary of the flip solver as a colliding walls, except for the Y down Y. So when the water uh, hit the wall, it will react, and I have this geometry only that I imported from. The RBD simulation and make it uh, deforming geometry and I connected the VDB of it so it will run fast sort of excellent so after this step and we run the simulation we imported it to another geometry so this is where we import And we use fluid compression so we can minimize the volume on the disk and we can choose from here 
the attribute that we want to keep and the remaining will be deleted so it will go mix uh, being smaller on our side and the out and the way I uh, I made the simulation run like I choose this point and I created geometry let's do it here geometry in the output so here I choose this point and I save it to a file okay and this file then I copy it and here I created a file and in this file I'll add it here so it will so when, when I go here and press save to disk this node will look at this point this node here it will take it it will sim because it, uh, this one relay on the top uh, network so it will start to save the cache and then I read it back here in this way I made uh, a couple of a chain like it. here we did the RBD sorry or we did the water simulation yeah, then we did the surfacing then we did the white water and we did the VTB from white water all in one chain and the idea is here when you go to the control make sure just choose uh, like this one when you connect it like this control make sure it's not frame by frame by node by node otherwise uh, it will be uh, prone for ca caching, crashing so it will finish this one then it will run to this one or you can make a merge another way so you can connect this can you connect this connect this it will queue then and in the merge node you control and make it node by node after that we imported it just choose a frame see it's compressed another frame see the voxel and you can you can also see here the service preview in the service preview you can see either the volume you can see the particle the compressed fluid the pdb so this is how it look yes the collision only the particle which i uh, mesh it you can go with vdb convert from uh, particle but you have this node particle from fluid so this is the meshing like one size 0.75 influence 3 filtering if no dilate smoothing and see the volume the resolution here also erosion you see two so we'll have uh, different results according so you can play with it okay for that file cache and for the material we applied the uh, uh, standard uniform volume and the basic liquid and just tweak it a little bit so this is the part of the flip fluid next one will be the white water thank you very much